I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are five things you didn't know about Windows 1.0. Windows still has more than 75% of the market on the desktop, but that was not inevitable. The first version of Windows was not immediately dominant when it was released back on November 20th, 1985. So indulge me as we dip back into history and talk about five things you might not know about Windows 1.0. Number one, Windows was late to the game. Microsoft showed off a graphical user interface as early as 1981, but Bill Gates saw a demonstration of Vizion at Condex in 1982, and he tore up the playbook, and then restarted development on Windows. Coming in at number two, Microsoft arguably imitated Xerox more than Apple. In 1983, Microsoft got wind of Apple's windowing system based heavily on a prototype from Xerox PARC, so in August 1983, Microsoft hired Scott A. McGregor, one of the lead developers on the Xerox PARC windowing system, to be the lead developer for Windows. Up to number three, Steve Ballmer was responsible for Windows coming to market. McGregor left the team in January 1985, and Ballmer replaced him. Design modifications followed, and Windows de-emphasized multitasking in favor of rich graphics that used less memory than competitors. Sliding in at number four, Windows 1.0 had a lot of familiar items. It included calculator, paint, notepad, write, terminal, clock, reversi, and utilities like clipboard and print spooler. But there was no program manager. That wouldn't arrive until Windows 3.0. At number five, the critics panned it, called it slow, noted poor performance when running multiple applications. Kind of the point of a windowing system. And they didn't like that it relied on the mouse for navigation over the keyboard. The New York Times called its performance like, quote, pouring molasses in the Arctic. Turns out the first version of a product may not be a perfect predictor for its eventual success. Who knew? Oh, and hey, if this trip back in time has you nostalgic, you can try out Windows 1.0 at PCJS.org, which runs emulations of both 1.01 and the 1.0 Premier Edition on its website. And there's more where that came from, too. Check out our other videos and articles at TechRepublic.com. I'll see you there.